And on the way with the talks, I think we just about ready to fool the up. Let's go. Let's get it. What's poppin'? It's your boy Peter Jackson, and right now you are tuned in to Friday TV. You know what it is, man. Yeah, yeah. So you're doing a show tonight, mm -hmm. and you were doing a video shoot earlier. Nah, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. 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 Okay. Yeah, tomorrow's the start of the video shoot. Okay, okay. You've been an artist for how long now? Uh, probably about four, four or five years. I mean, on a, on a, on a tip of you know actually being my day to day job. And you know, making a living and, and moving off of it. So about four. Do you think it's hard being an urban artist out here? In nah, the I mean Ajax, I, Oshawa areas. You know. Nah, I mean I, I don't know any different. You know, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't grow up in New York. I didn't grow up in, you know, Toronto. I didn't grow up in LA. So I know what I know, and I and I have the resources I have. So I mean, I think you know. I couldn't do really any different than I'm doing. So, you know, like, I don't know what it would be like if I grew up somewhere else or how the hustle would be or anything. So, I mean, I can't say it's hard or I can't say it's easy or, or right or wrong. It's just it is what it is and I'm going yeah. with it, you know? Why do you rap? Why did you start rapping? Like, what made you do it? I mean, I was good at it, you know, and I'm, I've never really been ambitious about anything. I never really put my all into anything. And um, my, my best friend was killed. It was like, it was a real shot in the face. It was like, I'm 19 and I'm not doing shit. Like I wasn't doing shit. It was like a wake-up call. Yeah, it was like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? It was like, it should have... To me, I felt like at that time when that happened, it should have been me that, that, that wasn't here. I didn't feel like it should have been him. I felt like it should have been me. So it was like, you know what? This is a blessing. This is something that... It's just kicked everything. And it was like, all right, it's either do it now or it's not going to happen. So mm. it was just, yeah, it was, a, it was an eye-opening experience and it changed my whole life. And it made me work the way I work. What sets you apart from all the other white rappers? That I, white rappers? Um, <laughs> that's I've never been asked that question. I mean, I don't. Well, because you know they have that certain you know stereotype, the vanilla eyes, you know. Um, but your I, flow is obviously different to people who hear you. My flow is my flow is dope. Yeah, <laughs> my flow is dope. I mean, vanilla you. ice was dope when he was dope. Yeah, when back M, then. M's dope. You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, but like, there's so yeah. many out there trying, and you're actually making a name for yourself. So what I don't think that has anything to do with being white. Or being, you know, and at the end of the day, I'm Macedonian. I'm, I'm from a third world country. So, I mean, uh, it is what it is. So, and a lot of people, when I tell them I'm Macedonian, they're like, that's not white. But exactly. That, but that yeah. is, you know what I mean? I don't see color. The color has nothing to do with ta talent. Exactly. It has nothing Good to do with stuff. talent. So. Tell us a little bit about your record. Uh, life. Shooting in my in life. In my life. Tomorrow you're shooting Certified. Yep. With Naughty by Nature. Yeah, with, with, my, with my man Tretch. Um. That record right there was produced by Classified. Um, shout out to Classified for producing the record, but that's just something, you know, I toured across the country with Naughty by Nature about a year and a half ago, and it was something Tretch, when we got back to Toronto, he was like, you know what, I, I wanna go into the studio with you, I wanna work with you, I wanna help you, and it's just, it popped off like that, and we did the record, and it, you know, they're extremely busy, just came back from Europe, and they realistically, the only reason they're even in Canada is for me, they came here to do the two shows as a favor, and the video as a favor, I mean, you know, money's money, but they're busy, and they can make a lot more money being somewhere else right now than being here with me. So, mm -hmm. um, I respect them for even coming and giving me, you know, the time of day to, to do what I'm doing with them. So, it's dope, and it's a big record. It's gonna it's gonna be a nice little look. <laughs> Let's go! 
Dante Temple, but Christine was with me before music bubble. Simple what you dare, that's what a man do. Standing on my skin, that's what the case do. That's awesome. If you could work with someone in the industry today, who would it be? Um, that I haven't worked with? Yes. There's this new singer I just heard of. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce her name. She from she from England, L A R O U X, La Rue or something. La Rue, yeah. She dope. I really like her voice. I, I love her voice. So I mean, just because it's something different, her um, Eminem, of course. I mean, um, I just love what love what he's doing. So I think I'd like to work with M. But I mean, if I want to work with someone, I'm gonna work with them. It's not. It's not. I don't feel like it's you know that unreachable. You know, it's six degrees of separation between me and whoever I want right now. So. Mm -hmm. Um, in your record, like, what do you what do you talk about that would influence youngsters to, you know, would rather listen to your music rather than typical gangster rap? Oh, my shit's real, like super, super real. Like, I mean, if I'm if it's a party record, it's a real party record. It's about what it's really about. I mean, I got a record called Intervention on my album, and that's about being addicted to drugs. And I mean, I went through some real shit. Um, for me, it was ecstasy. I don't even know how the hell you get addicted to ecstasy, but maybe it's the vibe or the having fun and I mean um, I know a lot of people listen to that record and they're like yo that record's about a girl and it's not that record's about you know escaping from from what it was and I mean I got a record called Mama and um, I mean I wrote a record for my boy who died my best friend and it was a eulogy at his funeral and I mean I'm like my whole body's tattooed with verses that are that are real and things like that I think anything no matter what I did I did a dance hall record with Sizzler that's a real record because it's a real dance hall record then there's, you know, the record with Tretch. That's a real hip-hop record. You know, there's real emotional records. There's real party records. I think no matter what, I make real music at the end of the day. Because it's feeling. It's, it's not feeling. just like bubblegum rock. No, I ain't, no, ain't no shit. It's not like that. It's not like that. I mean, if I make a pop record, I'm making a real pop record. It's still real. There's nothing fake about it. Like, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what time of day you catch me. Everything's the same. Everything is exactly what it is. Whether it's a good thing about me or a bad thing about me. Like, it's not cool that I was addicted to ecstasy. That's not cool. That's something that sucks. That's something that you don't even tell people. You don't tell people you're broke. You pretend you have money. But not. I'm not like that. I would rather tell you I'm broke so you see what it is. I'm not saying I'm broke. But I'm saying if I was, I'd tell you I was broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand. When is your album dropping? Is it out? Actually, today, it's it's official that I sold. I went ghetto gold today. I sold oh, 5,000 records what? in Canada as of today. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's really big Thank news. God, Thank you very much. So that was, that was in my life. That record's been out for less than a year. And I mean, selling 5,000 records in Canada is like... Selling 50 in the states, so um, I'm happy, <laughs> and I mean, Star Maker, you know? Star Maker, and Factor, they're gonna owe me some paper soon, so you know, I'm happy now. Nah, but but yeah, the record's been out for a minute. I'm working on a new album right now, and the lead single off it is ridiculous. Like, it's just three of the biggest artists in the world on that record with me, and I don't think people will even believe it till they hear it. So that's it's, awesome. Yeah. Where can they find your music? Uh, PeterJacksonMusic.ca. Um, Google it. Um, but I'm not that man from New Zealand. <laughs> Ain't got nothing to do with the cigarettes. Um, but I mean, yeah, it basically it's everywhere. It's on the internet, Twitter at Peter Jackson 905. The website, MySpace, if people are still using it, it's everywhere. The records in HMV, everything's on iTunes, all the major outlets where you can get music. Anything you want to pimp out? Um, nah, I don't pimp. Yeah, I don't get pimped either. <laughs> you know right. what it is, man. It's your boy Peter Jackson, Friday TV. You're tuned in, man.